I am away in the van for a few nights, probably four or five nights. I'm not sure. Yeah, it's probably, it's the longest I will have stayed in this van. As you can see, if you didn't see the last video, I have started the, um, what is it called? <laughs> Conversion. I've got some insulation done on the walls and on the ceiling. And down here, you can see we have a floor in. Very exciting that it's got started. I'm obviously going to still be using it as it is being converted because I don't really like staying at home. I like going out and about in the van. I am at the moment, I was just, I just left home a few hours ago and was driving down the M6 and at a certain point, this is generally what I do to be honest, I don't kind of plan where I'm going, sometimes I do, I did more when I was in the car, uh, but in the van I just drove down the M6 for a little bit and then when I got a bit bored of driving I just came off and found somewhere to park up, I am in or near Stafford. It has been an absolutely sweltering day. When I arrived, I just got out of the van, put my shorts on. I'm right by a field, so I just went and had a little walk around the field and sat in the field for a little bit. It was lovely. I think I'm probably going to go for another little walk in a minute. So I'll show you the field and I'll show you where I'm parked up. I've just been sitting here thinking, like, how the hell am I going to cook in here? Because, well, I haven't got any, like, units or anything. And my little stove obviously gets hot underneath. I don't know. I can't, like, just... Last time, if you saw my last video, I just cooked. I was in a pub car park and I just sort of just went to the side of the of the pub. There was like a, a fence there and I just went over there and cooked down there in the morning um, for my breakfast. I'm not sure how I'm going to cook this evening, to be honest. I might not be able to. But that's a problem for a little bit later on. Come on, should we go for a little walk and I'll show you where I'm parked up. There's the van there, and then just over from the van, it's just this big field. We'll go for a walk, it's a lovely evening. It's a little bit noisy at this field, because I'm pretty sure the M6 is just there, but when you're in the van, you can't really hear it, so that's okay. And also, there's a car park there, but I'm not sure whether some car parks are later on in the evening, they've become like proper boy racer places i'm not sure that that is one we'll see i guess if it is i'll just move maybe i would really love to get my electric sorted in the van asap because because i'm away for quite a, a bit of well i think i'm going to be away for quite a few days this time power does concern me a little bit um i have brought my bluetti and my solar with me and actually would do some really nice weather the next couple of days so i should be able to they charge that up so I can charge like my phone and iPad and potentially camera or whatever. Should be alright. But I would really like electrics. But the electrics are gonna be like the major cost. It's gonna cost me a fortune my electrics. Thousands, I think. So <laughs> that may have to wait till next month. I may have to just cope with what I've got for now. This is lovely, I think. I'm gonna have a little walk. I might just sit outside here on the grass for a little while. Enjoy the last little bit to the sun. And then just go to the van and just chill for the evening. I was gonna try and pick like, you know, like a nice beauty spot to go to. But I just couldn't be bothered today. I just, <laughs> I was just driving. I thought I'll just, just get off the M6 and just find somewhere. This'll do, it's fine. Somewhere different, that's all I care about. There's stuff all over this screen, isn't there? that better I hope so we might get a beautiful sunset tonight feels like the clouds are looking good for it we'll see if I'm awake for sunset <laughs> I'm quite often asleep at this time of year there she is all parked up nice I'll tell you what I have forgotten to bring which is a bit of an error is my window coverings because they're in the old van. I've still got my old van sitting on my driveway. They're still there. Um, and Stephen sometimes sleeps in that van at the weekend. But what I could do, I've got this cardboard. I could maybe try and put this up somehow. I don't know. It's like a bit odd to be it does. I don't know whether I can or not. I just feel like I want a little bit 
hoping it's going to do anything to be honest. Let's do that. It does something. Does that look stupid or obvious that someone's in here? I don't know. <laughs> I can't really see. I don't think it does anything in terms of block the light out, but maybe it gives me a little bit more privacy. Not sure. I like to be able to park somewhere where I can just, especially in heat like this, just have the door open a little bit like no one's going to be walking past it. Well, I can't imagine anyone's going to be walking past here. So I can just have my door open for a little bit. Not worry. I brought like <laughs> three jumpers with me. I did not check the weather before I came. I always just come with cold and warm stuff. Just in case. I definitely didn't need three jumpers for this trip, but I got them just in case. And I even brought an extra blanket. Crazy. It's not needed. I got my essentials. I got my cosy socks in case my toes get cold. Some toilet roll. I got my wee pot down there in case I need a wee. Sorted. So my cardboard from the back, whilst it doesn't really block out the light, it does give me a little bit more privacy back here, which is good. I don't know if you can tell from my sweaty face, <laughs> my sweaty red face, but oh my goodness, it's absolutely <laughs> boiling in the van. I kind of wish I didn't have the insulation. I'm so hot, red and hot and boiling. I think I'm going to have to leave the door open for a little while. I'm just going to have a lap from the van now. It's kind of, what time is it? It's gotten, it's like quarter past eight. So it's quite late for me. It'll be bedtime soon, to be honest. <sighs> but yeah, I'm going to just maybe watch something and relax with my door slightly ajar. There's a load of lads, like, at first, there was loads of cars pulling in to that car park there. I was like, oh no, it is like a boy racer car park. But there's like 20 of them, 20 odd, 20 or so of them just like playing footy on that field. So I think they just come for like a evening kick around and then they'll go, fingers crossed. We shall see. Good morning. I just fell asleep last night. <laughs> I was shattered. Um, I didn't sleep well at all though. I don't know why having well i was kind of having like crazy dreams and i kept waking up it's about seven now i've been awake since like half past six i've just been lying here trying to get back to sleep but i can't um the sun is pouring through that window it looks like an absolutely beautiful day um i think i got plans with a friend today i think i'm gonna go and meet them they're about an hour away or so so i'm gonna find a pure gym to go and have a shower well, to go and do a workout, if I can summon the energy. Um. It's a lovely day out there. Oh my goodness, I still feel half asleep. Oh, come on, pull yourself together. I've found the nearest pure gym. There's one in Stafford that's eight minutes drive away, so that's good. The weekend, I don't want to wait, I don't want to wait. Right, here we are, pure gym. Wonderful day. I think the heat has done me a favour actually in terms of my breakfast because I don't want to have anything. My our plan was I eat weird things for breakfast, don't judge me. Um, I brought some, is it here? Yeah, tub of bolognese, lentil bolognese. 
it was frozen when I left, it's a little bit frozen still. Um, I was gonna have some of that for my breakfast, but because it's so hot, I've just I've got a salad, and I think I might just eat a salad, you know. I don't want to be cooking and eating warm things, salad it is. Oh, it's huge. This needs eating, really, to be honest. I'm gonna have to eat it today. And I've got this, like, dressing that's made from silken tofu. We'll just spread that all over. Eat this for breakfast and then get out in that sun. Oh no, I think I need to nip to Tesco first. I've done it again. I stopped vlogging. When I like meet people, I don't like to vlog when I'm like with friends and things. I just like to enjoy the time. And I did end up going, um, me and a friend, we went to this beautiful place called Kingsbury Water Park, kind of like near Birmingham Way. Um, on the boiling hot day. What day was it boiling hot? Was it Friday? I can't remember now. It's Monday today. <laughs> but yeah, we had a fantastic day at Kingsbury Water Park and then we just went to a campsite for a couple of nights and it was a fantastic weekend. Loved it. And I am back home now. Well, I say I'm back home. I'm parked just up the road from my sister's house. I didn't get any work done on the van this weekend, which I kind of knew was going to happen because I haven't bought any stuff for it because I can't afford any of the stuff. <laughs> It right now oh it's stressing me out a little bit i've got to say but um yes yeah, so i just had a wonderful weekend and i am back home now just about to get the van a bit organized and put a wash on and just get sorted out after the weekend thank you so much for watching and i guess i will see you in the next one bye